Hey YouTube, we're going to make uh, French Canadian style baked beans and to do that we're going to need an Instapot, one pound of beans that were soaked overnight, a quarter cup each of maple syrup and molasses, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of uh, dry mustard, three cloves of garlic minced, one small onion chopped, and three slices of thick cut bacon chopped up. So to start off, I'm going to put the Instant Pot to saute. Get that warm up for a second. Okay, so pressure cooker is warmed up. You don't need oil when you're cooking with uh, raw bacon. There's enough. Uh, Fat that gets rendered off. So while this is starting to uh, render down, you also need one and three quarters cups of water. I'm going to start to add some of my ingredients to the water with the molasses. This is maple syrup. I live in Muskoka, Ontario. We have lots of maple trees here and we make our own maple syrup. The mustard powder. Brown sugar. And the Worcestershire sauce. You want to get your bacon a little bit brown before you add your onion because once you add your onion, the liquid from the onion will prevent your uh, bacon from browning. This bacon is not too fatty, so it's not giving us very much, uh, very much liquid on the bottom of the pan at all. So if you wanted to make a vegan recipe, you can eliminate the bacon. Um, I'd adjust your salt accordingly. I don't put very much salt in when I use bacon because the bacon's already quite salty. This is a, uh, this recipe makes about 12 portions. Uh, you can freeze it, take it out the night before and uh, have it for lunch. And it's a great meal with a cup
post and the poached egg on top. Lots of protein, lots of carbohydrate. Starting to crisp up now. the onion for about two to three minutes just until it becomes translucent. as it sticks to everything. The bottom of the pan is now starting to get very dark. My onion is now translucent. I'm going to put my garlic in. You don't want to cut garlic for more than a minute. If you do, you'll burn it and you'll get an off flavor. flavors are it's on the bottom of the pan and make sure you get it all up so I'm using a wood spoon um, the reason you use a wood spoon is you don't want to damage your uh, stainless steel instapot right, I'm going to add my pre-soaked beans I'm going to turn off my saute Add my liquid mixture. So that there's liquid just on top of the beans, and that's exactly what we have. We're going to put the top on, we're going to do regular pressure cook for 20 minutes. our uh, switch is in the right position which it is right now and it'll count down from 20 
once the uh, uh, internal pressure is reached. So I'll come back when this is uh, done and show you what the finished product is. Okay, so my beans just uh, came off of pressure. It's about uh, 29 minutes after they finished cooking. And I forgot to mention, but our last ingredient is going to be one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And then we're going to check for seasoning. And the beans are still a little bit on the watery side. So I put them on to saute and um, see if I can thicken it up a bit or I can crunch up sorry I gotta go get my apple cider vinegar what should be in here where is the apple cider vinegar honey I'm gonna need my sous chef to get the apple cider vinegar Alright, so I got uh, the apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon, never pour on top of what you're doing just in case you pour too much. And just this adds a little bit of uh, acidity. And I used dry mustard, but if you don't want, uh, if you don't have dry mustard, at this point, you can put in um, one to two teaspoons of grainy mustard or um, old-fashioned mustard. I just put it to saute. I'm gonna try and thicken it up a bit. Mm. Tastes really good. So I'm going to bring the camera over and that's what the final product looks like. So you can see there's bits of bacon. Another option if you don't have bacon is you can use um, salt pork uh, be careful with salt pork because it's obviously very salty so you might want to rinse it under warm water before you use it um, you probably do not need any more seasoning salt and pepper wise after you put the salt pork in Okay, so my saute didn't come on because it was still on keep warm. So I turned it off and then turned it on saute. So hopefully now. But you know what? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Tomorrow it'll be nice and thick. So I think I'm going to just leave it like this. So there you have it. You have French Canadian baked beans with maple syrup. Oh, and if you want it truly French Canadian, you can add a pinch of cloves when, you, uh, when you're cooking. So maybe a quarter teaspoon, it wouldn't add too much more than that unless you really like the taste of cloves. Cloves is a very French Canadian uh, spice. So, and then now, uh, depends on uh, how your taste is, you season with salt and pepper. I haven't added any pepper yet, I'll probably add that when I'm eating it. All right, here is the finished product. And I'm just making breakfast now. Got a couple of poached eggs going on. I have a bagel toasted and I'm just about to ladle some beans on it.
Yes, these are very hot. There we go. And almost a perfect presentation there. I'll move that egg up nicer. And uh, thank you very much for joining me and making French Canadian style baked beans. Thank you very much. Take care.